Hey guys! Hi! We are going to try something today. It's gonna be disastrous, I can promise you that. We're gonna do a who wore it better, only we're going to make it's our clothing. We have like the same, the access to the same supplies, we have the same fabric. How much sewing experience do Bailey and I have? I Zero. probably have more just because I like hand stitch things. When we were really young, we did. Yeah. Now, not so much. So, for those of you that do this for real, please do not make fun of us because who knows? See, this is supposed to be funny. We have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> So our base will be, our team like got all this stuff, so we didn't know what was coming till just this now. This fabric. It's like a gold There's green. a lot of it, so we'll be able to make something out of that. And then just a whole lot of ribbon and buttons and fabric and glue. flowers for some reason. And also we have a sewing machine. Does that mean we know how to work it? No. To make it even harder, Bailey and I decided we're not even gonna look up tutorials. You're just gonna see me guessing on how to be a seamstress in this video, so. Trying to lay it out so that we can split it in half. This is a lot. I mean, it's probably good because we're probably gonna mess up and have to start over like three times. Yellow brick row. Yellow brick oh, row. Yellow brick row. <laughs> oh boy. Supplies I'm going to be taking is That's elastic, funny. my half of the fabric, and either a sewing machine or hand <laughs> stitching. Goodbye. Actually, I need the sewing machine so I can't go anywhere. The stuff I'm going to be taking is the fabric. I need the elastic, but Bailey has it. This one's these buttons. Maybe it's just a fabric glue in case I need it. And also hand, hand stitching stuff, but I don't have the hands to get it right now. So, wish me luck. Okay, so I feel like I need to point this out because I know I'm gonna get comments asking me about it, but it's so gross. So if you see this black tape on my toe, it is because I'm trying to get rid of a wart and I heard they're putting duct tape and like apple cider vinegar on it. So just please ignore, it's gross, it's disgusting. Nobody wants to talk about warts, but just so you know, that is why I have duct tape on my toe. You will probably see it in this video, so just a heads up on that. Sure, make yourself some comfortable. Off. Oh. No, no, sit. Oh. All my fabric is laid out. I don't even know where to begin. I guess the first thing I should pin. First things first. I honestly, to be honest, am not a huge fan of this fabric. We're just gonna have to make do with what we've got because that's the only fabric I have. I'm thinking that I could do a like a, a tank top, kind of like a tube top tank top with like a one of those elasticy waists that's a little cropped and I'm gonna put like buttons on the tank so it can like button maybe and or maybe I'll just do straps I don't even know what I'm making but the thing is that I know like the measurements and stuff like I'm gonna have to measure my waist and here to here and here to here and all these things and my chest and blah 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 so that's the first thing I'm gonna do is try to measure see if I can get the fabric cut correctly so I ran upstairs and I'm feeling a little more confident because I realized first I was gonna measure my measurements, but then I was like, that's gonna be confusing. So instead I'm gonna measure a shirt that fits me well and I'm gonna measure like the front piece and the back piece that I'm gonna end up stitching together. And then the bottom, I was hoping to do something like this. I have not a single clue what I'm doing. Okay, I measured my waist, my bust, and like the length of my torso, and I marked it on my fabric. So this is like my waist size, it's from there, here, and then this is my, like around my bust, and then this is like my torso, top to bottom. So I kind of need this like whole rectangle of fabric to make my shirt. So I'm just gonna make a cut here and a cut here. I'm gonna have to like somehow get it to be like, I don't know. <laughs> this is really stressful. It's was. This is how she's trying to block herself from seeing my stuff. This is cracking me up. Goodbye, good luck. I feel like this piece of fabric is all sorts of messed up. I don't really know where I went wrong. Something's, this is wrong and I know it, but we're just gonna have to do what we, I'm already stressed about this and I just don't think it's gonna get any better. So you guys can probably just barely see the outlines of my measurements. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out. This is one side and then I'm going to basically draw this out again and cut it out and then try and stitch it together and see how it looks. No. <laughs> oh. It would like to sit like here and have all this space. Oh no! 
Oh, I got my fabric. I don't know if you can see it. I got it pinned around the stretchy band. So I'm gonna try to sew it. I don't know if the sewing machine is going to work. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I just need to be careful. <gasps> okay, it works. Uh-oh. Something happened. The thread did not stay in the needle. So I have no idea if me making the back is go bigger is going to fix the problem, but I did it anyways. We're about to cut out the back side of the shirt. Okay, now I have my front and my back of the shirt. One is drastically, drastically larger than the other. We're still gonna try and stitch them together. I still haven't even started on my bottoms. Are you doing bottoms? Let me get to my top. Yeah, I think we're just gonna do top because this is taking five ever to do. I have so much more respect for people that do this. Okay, I kind of know how to pin only a little bit because I used to do some kind of stitching. So here we go. All right, I've decided to call my grandma because she's going to help me set up the sewing machine because I cannot figure it out. The screen's so blurry. There we go. Hello. Hi. But who's here? How does one thread a sewing machine? Um, what kind of sewing machine are you trying to thread? I don't know, it's this thing. Is it your mom's pretty Yes. <laughs> well, that's nice. After getting poked a million times, I am now realizing that it was not smart to try and make one bigger than the other. So I'm gonna go ahead and recut another piece that is as big as the back so that they can match. Try number three. Haha! -ha. One pin down, the correct size cut out. Let's go! She got it figured out, guys. My They're stitches are gonna be so crooked and so bad. This is the worst thing ever. I'm so dumb. I pinned my whole shirt the wrong way. Ugh. Again, everybody, we're doing it again. <laughs> my little stretchy waistband. Look at how cute the stretchy waistband is. Go me, go me. We got the stretchy waistband. Stretchy waistband. Dang it. I've stitched one of the sleeves on and then I decided it's going to be easier to hand stitch the sleeves on so I can get them to be the right length. So I'm gonna hand stitch the sleeves on, stitch the buttons on, and then I'll be done and we'll see if we can put it on. <laughs> I feel so stupid. I swear I am smart. Okay, I swear to it, but this, I just have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> And I got so excited because I stitched up my shirt. I accidentally stitched up the freaking armhole. So I had to go through and pick it out and then like go over it again to make sure all the stitches stay in place and ah, I just keep messing it up. Yeah, I'm sorry. <sighs> I just found out that I can't get into my shirt. It doesn't matter what I do because it's too small. So I'm gonna have to take an entirely different route to figuring out how to get this thing to work. I have an idea, but it's a little far-fetched, but I think I can make it happen. Honestly, it's gonna be miracle cool if I even get anything wearable out of this. I just sewed myself some really ratchet little rope strips <laughs> <laughs> because the sides of mine, when I put the shirt on, had about this much space between them because I'm terrible at measuring apparently. So I decided to take this and I would do like a weaving pattern on the side to fill in the spots, but also keep the shirt secure and also make it look a little trendy because you know, it was kind of bland at first. Here's the thing, right? I stitched this sleeve on, and then this one, I stitched like under the armpit. So I'm gonna have to like try to stitch it while it's on to get a good thing. Also, this stretchy band waist not turned out the way I wanted it to. It's not tight at all. It was supposed to be like tighter like that, and it just did not turn out that way. It's like super loose. So that's also a little whoops on my part, but uh, the rest of it is, you know, we're Okay. So the detail on the side is this like woven. Obviously, this is probably a shirt that ideally you would wear a bralette with, but I just went to try it on. Now that I have it finished, 
I'm going to style it so that I can be the one that finally wins. A challenge, oh my gosh, this shirt went through it. But it turned out actually really cute, in my opinion. Someone feel free to take this design and make something of it because I'm never going to be able to make something like this ever, ever again. Here's my full look. Ta -da! So I actually decided to pretty much do minimum amount of styling besides this really cute headband on top of my braids because I love the shorts that I'm wearing. So, um, this is my outfit. And here's Brooklyn's final look. Ooh, ooh la la. Stitched by the one and only Brooklyn McKnight. <laughs> Time to do the boomerangs and posting and letting y'all vote on Instagram story. Time for some pictures, go. The results are in on Insta story. Now, drum roll please. The winner is Focus Brooklyn. She I has. continue my streak. How do we feel? I feel defeated. There's literally not a chance for me to win one single I one. normally like, I'm, she's typically like more fashion forward. So the fact that I keep winning these whole well, look, better so makes cute. me feel really good. It's, it is very cute. It is very, these shirts might fall apart in, in about 10 minutes. We might have to cut her And you can, see, you can see my thing and I originally did it with the, this, like with this stretchy band and the stretchy band was too big. So then I figured out if I just flip it, it's actually way more comfortable, so. Time to cut you out. The issue is that I didn't get a way out of this and putting this on over my chest when the fabric is not stretchy, if you can see, I uh, can't breathe in this, so. so.